Hello everyone, I'm Mrs. Midnight and I hope you're ready to continue with our adventure in Sally Face. So if you remember, we left chapter 3 at half. And after they went to school, later that day, I'll need a few minutes to get it ready. That's cool, I have to take, of some, take care of something first anyways. Okay, let's meet in Todd's room when everyone's ready. Yes, perfect. Cool. So let's talk a bit with the neighbors before going to Todd. Oh, hello dear Sally. Give me just a sec, cause one of my cats entered and this one cannot enter to the room. Sorry about that. Oh, hello dear Sally. You sound tired. Are you okay? Yes, yes, I'm quite fine. I was just a bit distracted by my thoughts. You know me. Oh, sorry. It's constantly taking me out of the app. Did you finish that book you were reading? I did. You seem to be enjoying it, what's wrong? You didn't like the ending? Most story endings are a lie we tell to ourselves to create a false sense of hope. What do you mean? There are no happy endings in real life, Sal. So we all get the same terrible ending, death. You can't know that for sure, Rose, and even if that were true, doesn't that make life even more precious? It's our one chance to shine as brightly as we can, before the long night claims us. That's why I try to live the best life I can, just in case it's the only one I get. Not for you, my boy. Huh? Oh, never mind. I admire your optimistic view of life. Something I had lost long ago, I'm afraid. Right, if I remember right, there are no more dialogues. What do you want, Sal? Just wanted to see how you were doing. I may be old, but I can't take care of myself. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, okay, I get why she hates Larry, but not Sal. Good evening, Sally. How are you on this fine day? Hey, Mr. Addison, I'm good, how are you? I'm swell, young sir. You like the new sign? I love it, thanks to you and Larry. It almost feels like I have my own little tea house now. I do miss giving out my tea to tenants. However, I simply cannot afford to keep up with that. I'm glad you like it and I think it's totally reasonable to charge for the tea. Everyone understands. That's wonderful to hear. Any new tenants? I'm afraid no, so we do have someone coming to look at the room next week. So hope it is on the horizon, I suppose. I'm sure your luck will improve soon, Terence. And if there's anything you ever need help with, don't hesitate to ask. That's very kind of you, Sal. Thank you, I'll keep that in mind. Guys, sorry if you have some meowing, is my cat. So let's continue to explore. A 
I wonder if this is related to the skull in Mrs. Packerton's desk. Hmm, probably. Because it's an old briefcase. There's an old newspaper clipping nailed to the wall. It's about a boy who shouldn't be alive, who survived an accident that killed both of his parents. The front page of an old newspaper, Father and Son Go Missing. It says they vanished without a trace, leaving the motor broken and alone in what was once a happy family's home. Woman and her child abducted by aliens. It has, this has to be one of those joke papers. Oh, but we don't have our gear boy. Right, we have to go get that. So, sorry guys, before we continue to explore, actually we need to get the gear boy. Oh, I wanted to go to the elevator. So we got the super gear boy. And since we are home, let's take a look at that room. And under the bed there's an old photo of mom. I thought that threw them all away. Hi mom, I miss you. I hope that you're in peace. That's a, there's a handwritten note on the back. Henry, you are my sunshine in the darkness. I can't believe we're going to have a little boy. I'm so unbelievably happy. Everything is perfect. Love you always. Diane. So we leave the photo. And that's computer is on, but I don't know his password. So the password is Diane with numbers. So it's D. I. A. N, 14 letter, E. And it won't turn back on. I hope it's not fried. Me too, I've never understood. Oh, unlock this letter. Also, we don't store this letter because we unfortunately lost the puzzle at the beginning of the chapter. Sorry, guys. But if we had done that successfully, we would have unlocked the diary from Jim Johnson. So Robert, Robert is the neighbor that helps Sally with his ghost nabbing adventures. And we could use the sticky tag to keep his poster up. It worked. Sick, I couldn't get that damn thing to stay up. Here, a quarter for your trouble, sir. Hey, thanks. My pup was loaded and he used to give me an ankle for moving his lawn. But at the time I thought he was just a cheapskate. But he was teaching me a lesson. Teaching me the value of working for it, you see? Yeah, I think so. Yo, what up, little bot? Not much, just a typical day. That bad, eh? <laughs> how, have, how have you been? Everything is straight, my man, I can't complain. How's business going? Business is great. What is it that you actually do? I sell crack cocaine. Oh. <laughs> nah, I'm just fucking with you. But when my granddad passed, he left everything to me. Wow, was he a millionaire or something? Nah, but it was enough money to start up a little business. I had brewing in the old nugging. I tripled that money within a year. From there, the company just kept growing. Now I barely do anything, just show up once in a while to check in and do meetings and shit. That's about it, Joe. It's a pretty thick gig. 25 and practically retired. Yeah, I'm actually yells. It seems like you worked hard to get there, Joe. You better believe it. Busted my ass until things took off. Just wish my pop was here to see my success. I bet he'd be so proud of you, man. 
That's a huge accomplishment not many people could pull off. Thanks, little bot. Oh. Oh, sorry, I accidentally selected the dialogue again. Okay, what's good to say? I don't trust banks with my money, or any big corporations, really. Don't you own a big corporation? Well, yeah, but that's different, that belongs to me. Why do you live here? I mean, you could afford to live anywhere. Why live in this cheap apartment room with hardly any furniture? I got all I need right here. Why do I need a big house filled with fancy things? Can't take that shit with you when you're dead, right? It's just extra weight waking you down. I like to lay down, live my life doing what I like, go wherever, whenever. No strings attached kind of lifestyle, you feel me? Yeah, I do. I think that's cool. I don't know what I would do what I do with my without my TV and video games though. <laughs> yeah, I get you dirt so. <laughs> well you gotta do you, little bot. Everyone's different. See ya. And Sue, if you're looking at this, look, there's Charlie the Unicorn playing a guitar. So we remember what happened in this apartment, as we see blood isn't gone yet. Hello, Sal. <laughs> then she speaks through her throat. Hey, Miss Anderson, how are you? I try to keep myself busy, otherwise I'd lose my mind. I fear that I'll never be able to leave these dreadful walls. You still haven't seen any bright light or anything? Unfortunately not. I don't mean to sound ungrateful, though, babe. It's much more bearable here without that horrible demon running around. It's just so terribly grim, devoid of hope. It's kind of hard to explain. I'm sorry, I wish I could help more. Todd and I have been doing a lot of research, but... Hold on a moment, love. Yes, right here, talking to me. Okay, sure, yes. Okay, I understand, I will. Sal, I meant to give something to you. Who were you just talking to? I apologize, sweetheart, I've got to go now. Please take care of yourself. But... I think it's him again, because it's also a letter from him. And it's empty again. No one lives here. Well, yeah, I wouldn't like to live next to the murder room. So let's go back to the fifth floor to see if there's any paranormal activity. Not here at least. But here is some, and another letter with his name. Am I missing something? Yeah, sorry Sal, it's my fault. But we have unlocked that achievement, to be fair. Locked. And okay, this Ouija wasn't here. Even with the spirit board, Megan never comes out when Todd and Ash are up here. I think she's just shy around strangers. Well, yeah, and besides, since Ashley is skeptic, I think some entities could find that insulting. Hi, Sally Face! Hey, Megan! Have you seen my daddy anywhere? No, sorry, I still haven't seen him. Oh, maybe he's passed on to a better place. 
I guess that's not so bad. And everybody here isn't so scared now, too. Even mommy started talking to me a little. That's great. I'm glad she's finally speaking to you. Me too. I hope that daddy is happy wherever he is. I'm sure that he is. Oh, I forgot mommy told me she would play hide and seek. I gotta go. I'll see you later, Sally boy. <laughs> okay, Megan, I'll see you later. Have fun. And we see that thanks to the necklace she appears more often. And even though she can wear it now, she's happy to have it close by. Yeah, I like that she was summoned with an object that was precious to her. So tell me guys in the comments, if anyone needed to summon you, what object would they use? Hey Sally Face, what's your son to up to today? Hey David, not much, just got home from school. Ah, I thought you were on a break. The college students are on break right now, but our break doesn't start until the end of the month. Oh, gotcha. How have you and Sarah been? Jenna's just a couple of spots as happy as can be, right, babe? Yeah, meet Sarah. <laughs> oh, hon, don't make me blush in front of our friends. Love you too, babe. Oh, what's that? Yeah, so we've been having some trouble sleeping anymore. Yeah, no, it's funny, but I think it's because those college kids are on break. I guess we kind of got used to the noise they make. Well, they only have a couple more days of break, so everything should be back to normal soon. That's great news! Great news indeed, Sal! Yeah, this guy and his wife, mannequin wife, really creep me out. They're on break this week. What's wrong? I keep hearing creepy noises. Like what kind of noises? You know, creepy kinds, like scratching and moaning and stuff? Maybe it's just some mice in the walls or the building creaking. It's an old building. Mice? That's not any better. I bet it's nothing. You wanna hang out with me and the other guys? No, no, it's okay. Thanks, though. I can tell you guys are up to something again. Last time I came, I couldn't sleep for a week. Oh yeah, I was supposed to tell you Megan said she's sorry for scaring you. She's very sweet once you get to know her, but you kind of bottled right when you, when she came out. I know, I mean, I bet she's nice. I tried, it's just too scary. Well, if you don't want to be alone, you're always welcome to hang with us. I know. Thanks, Oliface. Why are you standing here? I'm waiting for my parents to get home. They should be back already. Is there anything I can do? Got any chocolate? Chocolate always makes me feel better. No, sorry, I don't have any. Okay. And I think the machine is empty on this chap on this chapter. Let's take a look. Yeah, it is. Since we are here, let's take a look around as well. Hi, Asal. How are you today? I'm okay. How have you been feeling? Didn't the doctor say to take it easy for a while? Oh, I'm just fine, sweetie. Don't you worry about me. Besides, we've got problems with the, plumb with the plumbing that would need my attention. Mr. Addison has enough on his plate to worry about. I can't keep lying around all day. Is there anything we can help with at least? Dude, don't bother trying to talk sense to my mom. You know she's even more stubborn than me. Ah, oh, hush, my little larver. Mom, don't call me that. <laughs> oh, you'll love it. Anyways, I appreciate your offer, Sal, but I can handle a little problem plumbing work. It's really no problem. Plus, moving around some will do me good, too. If you say so, just don't push yourself too hard, okay? And if you need any help, let us know. You got it, bud. Thanks, Sal. Think Larry is in there, huh? Occupado, dude. So that's the little business you had to take care about. Okay, 
I don't remember any reason to go outside, so let's not waste time on that. Uh, looks like Lisa got a bouquet of flowers from someone. There's a note. Note, it says get well soon. Wishing you the best, Henry. Uh, yeah, Henry and Lisa are the sweetest as well. And if you take a closer look, behind that furniture is another apartment. So now I think it is time to go to Tots. No one's home. No one ever did move into this room, I guess Addison is having trouble getting new tenants. Yeah, I think there's also activity here. Oh, nope. Man, that smell is still lingering. I'm definitely not going in there. Again, why when people move out, no one flushes the toilets? Just one second, guys, because I think we can also find paranormal activity at Rosenberg's. Oh, and I hit the basement, sorry. I'm at first floor. And yeah. But we triggered something in here. Miss Rosenberg, hello? Where are you? Miss Rosenberg? Goodbye, Rose. I get the feeling that you were ready for this. Whatever it is, I hope that wherever you are, you're happy now. Huh, there's a letter here with my name on it. That's weird, the envelope is empty. And yeah, I, I also think that she agreed with Jim to help him giving Sally the letter if he was able to trigger the paranormal activity. Hi, Mrs. Morrison. Hey, Sally. Are you boys off to another adventure? Something like that. I think that's so wonderful. Life is filled with potential adventures and beautiful mysteries that are just waiting to be explored and unexperienced. You're totally right about that. Yeah, she actually is. Yeah, I just gotta seize the moment. Though sometimes it's nice to relax on the couch after a long day, you, you know? Ray and I were just watch watching some television, and then he passed right out like a little baby. <laughs> Isn't he the cutest? Uh, sure, I guess so, but you guys don't have a TV. Yeah, it's so nice without all that noise. Uh, yeah, well, I better be going. Yeah, honestly, they have hookahs and then in the next chapter have a uh, cannabi greenhouse. But I don't think only with using weed they would hallucinate having a TV. Are you ready? Ready. I tapped into the security cameras and will be able to look footage of the empty hallway until you two get back. Be careful. Yeah, Todd is one of my favorite of the bunch. I love how good he is with technology and that he also likes paranormal stuff. Got it. Nice. We should go quick before she gets back. Yeah, that's checking the whole way, but still. Dude, it smells like ass in here. Ass and old feet. Good lord, we better make this a short visit. I can't take that stench for too long. Check out that painting. What if Packerton really does just work on a farm? 
I don't know, that painting gives me a weird feeling, like a cold chill. Oh, yeah, I feel it too. Let's look around. It's a needle radio, but it won't turn on. Must be broken. No, broken is not what's going on. We see a younger picture of Packerton. And there's a big thing of diapers. Do you think Mrs. Packerton uses them for herself? Probably, dude. Packerton is ancient. And okay, really cool. Matt tests next to, to the diapers. Anything strange in this fridge? Nope, looks like normal groceries and stuff. But there's a padlock on the freezer. Can you get it open? Yeah, just give me a minute. Let's take a look. It's filled with rolls of bologna along with some frozen vegetables and other various food. Nothing out of place, really. Alright. Got it. Alright, let's open it up and poor beheaded gold. But remember the number in her label, 1047. I knew it! It is gold! I fucking called that shit, man! Also, gross. I feel like it can't be that simple. Let's see if we can get into those bedrooms. Alright! Yeah, I agree. I've never tasted goat meat, but I don't think it would taste as bad as they describe. And damn, gross. Ugh, gross, there's a big ol' log in there. Yeah, and again, it will never get flushed. Hmm, the clock hands are stuck at 314. If I try to move them, they just go right back locked and there's some weird mechanism on the doorknob. This is a bizarre look, Dot. Dude, I'm not sure if I can pick it up, but if I can pick it, but I'll keep trying. So, I don't understand why the radio isn't working. remember if we had to do something before oh hold on guys because battery is running low and apparently my cable unplugged Sorry about that. Um, hi, little body. Ah, it keeps on flopping. Sorry, guys, the cable just keeps and keeps on plugging. One. Okay, sorry, sorry, just give me another second, it keeps them on vlogging. Okay, let's hope it will behave now. One, two, 
one, two. Also remember that sequence, it's another code. What in the hell was that? A ghost goes, apparently. That probably shouldn't be surprising to me at this point, but I definitely didn't see that coming. Yeah, I guess that's always random. But now the radio is on. So remember the label in the poor goat's head. And now we should be able to tamper with the clock. And we said one, two. Oh, the one was already there. Oh, again. One. Two. Huh, that unlocked the first bedroom. Let's check it out. There's someone in here. Hello? Uh, Mr. Packerton? Hello? I don't think he hears you. You're right, looks like he's in some kind of vegetative state. Man, this is fucked, and definitely where that rancid smell is coming from too. Yuck! Let's get a quick look around and then get out of here. All of these papers are talking about the death of Mr. Packerton. If he's dead, then who's lying on that bed? What I want to know is why the hell are there so many shit-filled diapers in there? Like, seriously! Like, what the fuck? I know what you mean, this apartment is making me super nauseous. You don't think she uses the... No, 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 never mind, I don't even want to think about it. I think if the mystery ingredient was hum human shit, that would have seen some signs on it of it in the lab, right? I guess so, well, honestly, I have no idea. Let's just hurry up in here. You gross. Are you Mr. Packerton? Blink if you can hear me. Hello? He can't, but maybe like this. Young child, please. Help me. How can you be... Are you dead? I am in between. Suffering for what seems like an eternity. Did Miss Packerton do this to you? We were in love once, or so I thought. Yes, this is her doing. Please, you must help me escape this endless agony. What's in the Bologna? Bologna? I'm afraid I don't know much about that. This room is my prison, my tomb of infinite sorrow. I can never live in this state. How can I help you? You must unplug this horrid machine. But isn't that... Wouldn't that... It will end my suffering. It will free me of this torment. But... Are you sure? Please, child, I beg of you. You must hurry before she returns. And yes, of course we're gonna pull the plug. Poor guy is not only in coma, but also tied up. I hope that was the right thing to do. You didn't have a choice, man. The poor guy was in so much pain. It's what he wanted. Yeah, I guess so. It's just... Oh, shit, she's back. Quick, behind that dresser. If we don't make it out alive, I... I love you, dude. I love you too, man. You're the best friend I've ever had, you know? Same to you, little bot. Oh, I love how protective Larry is of Sal. And... plop. Hey, sorry to ruin the moment, but what the hell is this place? Ashley! You scared the crap out of us! I can see that. Hey, man, am I glad to see you, Ash. I thought we were done for. I thought you had to watch Benjamin. My dad came home early, so I rode over here straight away. Sorry for giving you guys a scare, I... Is that Mr. Packerton? Is he... 
It was him. He's gone now. He's finally at peace. Damn. And please don't tell me this is what's going on into the Bologna. I hope not. I'm not sure. There's still one room we haven't looked in yet. We need to get in there before we leave. Oh, check this out. While we were hiding, I found this key ring under the dresser. One of these keys has to open that other bedroom. Let's check it out. Anything to get out of this room. We're in. What in the... And yeah, I don't know if lots worse than shit, but this room is certainly much more morbid than shit. Oh my god! And we need a code for it. But the blood spots at the left are actually a clue. So I'm guessing the little ones are dots and the big ones are... lines? like some kind of slaughter factory in here yeah totally and also I don't know if you saw the missing posters oh no not the freezer the missing posters this can't be good nope not at all cuz lots of mixing posters missing posters bloody tools of torture and then garbage bags with clothes and shoes Problem is, there's something else that should be here and we haven't seen. So now let's do take another look at the spots. So the first one was one dot and four lines. It's one, same as the third one. And I think the second number is three. And the last number, if I remember right, is 4. Yeah. Then it's the other way around. Let's just remember second and last number. Yeah, it's the other way around. And yeah, much worse than shit. Yeah, I get Larry. We we are in way over our heads here. We need to get help. There are no bones. What? There aren't any bones in here. It's just, it's all just meat. Yeah, like organs, skin faces they look so much in damn pain yeah I, I can't stop looking the brains the intestines dude no come on <laughs> the vomit Ash is right we should get help don't you see there is no one who can help us every time something happens here it's covered up the cold look Charlie, Mrs. Sanderson, who knows what else this place has hidden? We can't trust the cops and we can't tell our parents because they'll want to go to the police. They haven't believed anything we've told them about. Then what do we do? I don't know, man. Things just keep getting worse. Packerton's, Packerton's chopping people up and serving them to... Ugh! I don't think I'll ever look at Bologna the same again. And yes, stupid reporter, that's why he gets special treat at treatment at lunch. Well? Well what? You asked why I don't hit the Bologna, and I've told you why. Of all the, fantastic story, the fantastical stories you like to spin, you're really not going to tell us what happened next? Why bother? You probably don't believe what I've said until... 
Now, anyways, and the story just gets more unbelievable from this point. Plus, you're probably going to cut it up to make me sound like a lunatic on TV. Give us the rest of this story and we'll err in this in, in its entirety. Without cuts, I promise you. I heard you mention Todd Morrison's name before we started. Did you visit him? They won't tell me anything else. Yes, we shot a segment on him yesterday. Is he okay? Is he still... in the hospital? I'll tell you what. You finish the Bologna story and I'll tell you about Todd. Fair enough, I guess. Before we left Mrs. Stuckerton's room, Ash noticed something else. Hey guys, come look at this! There's some kind of trash shoot hiding behind that painting. That's weird. This building doesn't have trash shoots. It doesn't look like it goes outside. There's no light coming in. Be careful, Ash. I wonder where it leads. And damn, I would shit my pants. Ash! Ash, are you okay? Ash! Oh no, oh no, this can't be happening. Please let her be okay, we have to find where this leads to. How are we... I'm gonna shimmy down, it's the only way. Dude, no! What, you're not thinking straight, what if you fall too? Or land on her? If she is still alive, that could kill her. <sighs> okay, yeah, you're right. Let's think. Okay, I'm not sure what it says. If anyone knows and wants to share, I would thank that. I know where it goes. What? How? Never mind. Just go get Todd and meet me in the basement. What's going on? Sal, what did you see? Is Ashley right? All right? Everything is going to be okay. Come help me with this. No one has used this apartment in a long time. It's in rough shape, but Addison can't afford the renovations it needs. Just like a fifth floor. Is this what you saw in your vision, Sal? It doesn't work exactly like that. It's more like a feeling of heightened intuition. Alright, you lead the way. Larry and I will offer support wh however we can. It's locked. Wait, one of those keys from Packerton's look like the old apartment kits. I'll try that out. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about those. Perfect. There's nothing in here. Give me a minute to look around. Nothing seems to be out of place, except for dirty and gross. I think it's in the kitchen, maybe? Could be some paranormal activity, but no. Just some gross slime liquid <laughs> dripping off the sink. The carpet is torn up here. It looks like... Mm. Guys, come check this out! Dude! There must be an undocument, undocumented sub-basement level. It's definitely not in any of the blueprints that I've seen. Perhaps an old dirt cellar or something of the like? I had no idea this was here. 
The third key from Mrs. Packardon fits in this door. Ash must be down there. It's the only place that shoot could lead to. Let's go. May our sight pierce the heavens and our reach be infinite and everlasting. So that's the motto of the cult. Walt, this looks bad. Incredible, this architecture must date back multiple centuries at least. Centuries on, of blood and demon worship. This is freaky as hell. Everything is coated in a thick layer of dust which likely means the area is presently vacant and has been for a while. Let's hope that the malevolent history of this place remains in the past. Yeah, well, we need to get through that gate somehow. There appears to be an absence of any obvious mechanism to move the large, the large gate. There must be built into the walls. It's likely that like, the apparatus for opening the gate is hidden. We better split up and search the room. What's with all the spikes? Like, dude, you can't turn around without stubbing your toe. Shit hurts like hell, too. Can you imagine? An old letter bound book. There's a symbol on the cover of a bird within a circle. The text is written in another language, so I can't read it. Blood is splattered on some of the pages, and the book is borne across the bottom edge. Touching this makes me feel lightheaded, as if it's producing a strange energy. Maybe keep this in hand. And we see there's an opening for a light bulb. And there's also a light bulb. So let's use it here. But probably we have to do the same on the other side. An old letter bound book with a symbol of a goat's head on the cover. The text is written in another language and the pages the pages smell like rotten flesh. This book gives me an oddly strong sensation of deja vu. Yeah, probably was in Packerton's apartment before. It's a bit strange that a place like this has light bulbs. They must have been installed later on. So this green bulb in particular is fascinating, I've never seen a bulb quite like, quite like it. How do you turn it on? That's another mystery, there are no visible switches. Huh. So yeah, it's in this room where we have to keep pressing right for a while. And eventually this takes us to another room. And there's another empty letter. And then we cannot go any further. So we keep hitting left until we are sent to the next screen. And we have to activate them with our gear boy to turn them on. So once done. Let me just check if we cannot go to the left as well, but I think not. No, I don't think in this case. Dude, those little obelisk thingies just got bigger. Scope it out. So maybe we have to align the star? And when we step on it, the gate opens. 
but if we don't step on it, it closes. Dude, what are you trying to give me, a heart attack? That scared the shit out of me. Sorry, I got the gate open for a second, but that switch won't stay down. Todd, can you come stand on this? Larry and I can go find Ash while you make sure we don't get locked in. Sure, I can do that. Ready? No, but Ash is in there somewhere, so let's go. Be safe, you two. I don't want to lose anyone else down the here. Yeah, at least not yet. Looks like there are two ways. We better split up. I was afraid you were going to say that. Why do these things always happen to me? I don't know, Larry. I don't know. So, when we play as Larry, we have to choose the doors that make a noise. And Larry says, crap, this place is a maze. This one doesn't. This one doesn't. This one does. And we've arrived in the next room of the temple, but the door is also locked. So what we have to do is get all of these, I don't know how to call them, like little pedestals, to be set down. And yeah, I don't remember the solution to this one. Yeah, it gets again the same. Oh, help! This is too much for Mrs. Midnight! Damn it, the only ones that, that are problematic are the ones at the end. get all of them down. The worst part is that, if I remember right, even the steam guys, guides tell you to just keep walking around, it will eventually work. <laughs> well, it's not looking like it wants to.
Okay, this is getting really frustrating. Please. No matter how I move, let's try maybe... Okay, I'm gonna try something crazy here, maybe quitting and may and seeing where the autosave takes us. Because maybe I have to reset it or something. Yeah, okay. So let's take another chance. Okay, I don't know how it worked. Don't ask me, please. I'm just glad it did. And now it's time to go as Sally. And in his case, we have to choose the door that doesn't make noise. I think it's the middle one. Yeah, the extremes one make the noise. Then it's the left one. Sorry, but I check all of them because the sound is a bit subtle, at least with the headphones on. And we're in the room, and there's another notebook. An old book with a wooden cover. There's a solid black circle carved into the front that's made from a different type of wood. The frail green pages are covered in painted symbols. I can't make any sense of it, but it leaves a bitter taste in my mouth. Yeah, I can imagine the kind of rituals that book is used for. Same as the goat and the bird one. And okay, please don't be a pain, a pain in the ass, I beg of you. Oh no, you are going to. I just don't get how else could I get this to work. I just know it's necessary to open that gate. So if I step on this one, it will always make this one step up. And then the sequence restarts.
Okay, don't ask me how. Just happy it worked. But the other one is still locked? Yeah. Yeah, that still is. Let me just check really quickly if we can go left this time. Nope. Hey, good timing! I think we have to pull these levers at the same time to open that gate. We must have walked around in a big circle. The room behind that gate is in the center of this place. It's the last room. Ash has to be back there. Let's hope she is. Huh? And let's take a look at the other book. An old book with a metal cover. This one has a symbol that almost looks like an hourglass. The pages are stiff and filled with a bizarre script. Looking at this is making me tear, tear up. I can't help feeling a deep, unexplainable sadness. Damn. Yeah, I don't want to imagine the energy that must feel in there. Maybe there will be another weird book by Larry before we try to open it. An old book with a metal cover. This, was ha this one has a complicated geometric pattern on the cover and the stiff pages are filled with bizarre script. Standing near this book, I can hear a slight ringing noise. It almost seems as though the book itself is emitting a low frequency. It's a little disorienting. Yeah, I can imagine that. But since there is nothing else to look at... Let's talk to Larry. What should we do? Oh, no, not the portrait. Use... Oh, then we only have to select it. Hmm. I think this weird hex thing from Mrs. Packerton's desk is some kind of key. Oh, I thought you had to select it from the inventory. Whoa! So the slime may have to do with that green light? Holy shit balls! And that's why there are no bones. It's another book pedestal, but this one has nothing on it. Does it normally? And damn the amount of bones. Ash! Ash, are you okay? Ash, is she... She's still breathing. Come, help me get her up. Huh? She's awake. H what? What's going on? Where? Where are we? Dude, you fell down the stupid trash chute. I thought we lost you for good. I'm so glad we found you. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. Just a little fussy and sore. No broken bones. Well, not mine at least. Man, Ash, well, you wouldn't believe what we went through to find you. It's all thanks to Sally, he had one of his vision thingies and... Then he found this old cellar door in the basement, and then we went down these long creepy stairs, and then we found this creepy ass called temple, or some shit down here, and then... There were all these puzzles, and traps, and mazes, and... Todd! Todd is holding the front gate open for us. We should go back there. Wow. This is so much to take in. I can't believe all of this is right below the apartments. Thanks for coming for me. I don't know what I'd do without you guys. So what are we going to do about all of this? Mrs. Packerton has killed a lot of people, and the Bologna... Ugh, we can't just ignore this. Definitely not. 
Judging by what you guys have told me about the inner rooms of the temple and about Mrs. Packerton's apartment, it could be possible that she's gotten herself wrapped up in the occult as well. Even if the congregation has long since dissolved, she could have stumbled upon his door, just as we had. Or maybe she's the last re remaining member, trying to carry out whatever their plans were on her own. You don't think she's trying to bring the red-eyed demon back, do you? Hopefully not, but we'll be prepared if she does. Man, we need to stop her, preferably like before that happens. I know going to the local police isn't an option. Maybe we should call the state police or the FBI or something. At least, this time our parents can't deny what's happening. They'll help, help us once we show them what's below this building and what Packerton has been doing. Ash is right. We should get our parents involved this time. Maybe we should just kill her. What? Mrs. Packerton, maybe we should kill her. She's sold, so it wouldn't be that hard. We can't just kill someone, Larry. Then we'd be no better than her. Normally I would be, I would be against harming others, but in this case Larry may be right. Todd! Larry! Seriously, you guys? Think about all of the strange and explainable occurrences that happen in Addison Apartments and in Knockfall in general. The more I think about it, the less likely it becomes that Mrs. Packerton is acting alone. She must be getting outside help. It would explain the police cover-ups for Charlie and the Holmes family murders. There's no telling how far this corruption reaches. God damn. I guess that makes sense. Sal, you were saying something similar earlier today, too. I don't know, maybe this does fall on us to take care of. Maybe. You know, the biggest worries normal teenagers have are about petty things like being popular and having nice hair. Not us though. We just have to worry about saving the world, I guess. And yeah, even Ashley that, that is the skeptic one of the group can't deny that there's something really sick happening there. So what happened? We decided to sleep on it. It was nearly morning anyway, and everyone was beyond exhausted. And the teacher, what did you decide? Did you go to the police? Didn't have to. Turns out, Packerton got into a car accident on the way home, that same night. She and the other driver were killed on impact. Whoa, that's quite convenient. Yeah, but not by Sally, by the cult. You can look it up for yourself if you don't believe me. It was on the front page the next day, beloved Knoxville High teacher killed by drunk driver. Of course, you won't find anything about the dead bodies in her apartment.